Hello guys and welcome back. Today I will be explaining you 36090 degree theorem. So in this theorem, uh, in this theorem we have a triangle in which one angle is 30, another is uh, 60, and the third one is 90 degree. So as per the theorem, we should come up with the conclusion that a side opposite to 30, that is BC, should be half of hypotenuse, that is AC. So uh, see, I have written the given section. I have written what is to be proved, that is BC should be half of hypotenuse, AB should be root 3 by 2 times AC. Fine. So, what we will do, we will uh, we'll do a construction. So, construction is like draw, uh, draw the point D such that extending by extending BC, extending CB to D, okay, such that CB equal to DB and will join A with D. So, so what's the construction? Extend CB to D such that such that CB equal to DB. Okay. And join so now we will start our proof. Okay, so what I will do, I will uh, prove this to congruent. So in triangle ADB and triangle ABC, ADB and ABC first. AB is common, uh, angle ABB equal to angle ABC equal to 90 degree and the third angle is, uh, third is BD equal to BC, this is by construction, we have found construction. Okay, so we have one side angle inside. Therefore, therefore, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ABC by SASS. So, if this two are congruent, then what we have? Then what we can say? Therefore, angle. DAB equal to angle CAB. So these two angles are equal. So we will get this 30. Angle ADB equal to angle ACB. Corresponding angle of congruent triangles. So we get this 60. Now, angle A equal to angle DAB plus angle CAB, so which is equal to 30, uh, so 30 plus 30 equal to 60 degree. Therefore, uh, therefore uh, and angle B equal to angle C equal to 60 degree, therefore triangle ABC is an between lateral triangle. If it is equilateral, then therefore AD equal to BC equal to AC. Okay. Now, now we'll get we will get what we require. Okay. Now, since BC, since BC equal to half of DC. Since BC is half of DC, but so therefore BC equal to half of in place of DC, I will substitute AC. But BC equal to AC, therefore from 1, I can say 
that dc equal to half of x. Now, now what we'll do, we'll apply Pythagoras theorem in this ABC. See, this indicates that, see, here we need a root. So, when we will get some root value, then when you have square terms involved in that particular expression. So, what we'll do, we'll apply Pythagoras theorem in triangle. A, B, C, angle B equal to 90 degree. Therefore, by Python to this, in Pythagoras theorem, AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Okay, now what we want? We want AB and AC. We want AB and AC. We will eliminate BC or we will merge this BC in terms of AC and AB. What we will do? BC. Now BC is what? BC square equal to AB square. What is BC? BC is half of BC. So it is half of BC, the whole square. So what we can write here is AB square plus what is BC? This is nothing but AC. So this is half of BC, the whole square. This becomes AB square plus AC square by 4. Okay. So AB square, now we get AB square plus AC square by 4 is nothing but AC square. So AC square is AB square plus AC square by 4. So AB square is now we are rearranging. AB square equal to AC square by 4. Okay. So AB equal to root 3 by 2 AC. So, so I think we have understood how to uh, how to approach this here. So if, still, if you have any doubt, then you can co comment me on the uh, comment section. And uh, thanks for section. In the next video, I'll be coming with the another theorem. So thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.